Tini. Nimekuhamba tata. Niko fimbi titi, nimeamua hiyo joto kidogo ya mabad girls ni mingi sana kwenye studio. Uh-huh. Wacha nije huku kidogo. Nipunge upepo si wa bahari lakini nipunge upepo. Anyway, big shout out to every single person via team VIP wenye wako locked. A big shout out to Hassan, Arani, Akiwa Esamba Nyamira, Jobu Harry, I see you Prince Vince, Honorable Bullet, I see you Rahim Paul. Na na mbogi kondakas kabisa. Kina Jose Addison, kina Michael Mag Guana, na wana pia kina Zach Zion, wakondaka Sam Nasty, kina Noisy Cartoon, kina Tots Gloria, a big, big, big shout out to you. But right about now, we've got to catch up on all the action that has been happening in the world of entertainment. It's been quite the week. Na mimi sija wai kuwa mdakum vivu. And I promise you that haija anza bado lazima tuchambue what your favorite celebrities have been up to. Now I know that if you have been on TikTok, Meskia, this love is personal. That's why I love you personally. Alafu nasikia, Willy Pose. Yeah. That is a song that has gone viral. And we owe it to a content creator who goes by the name Cheryl Gabriella, who has absolutely made the song go absolutely viral. And of course, Willy Paul went ahead to thank her. Kamambia, msichana wetu. Song imefikisha 5 million views and we owe it to you. But unfortunately, um, yesterday, Tuliona videos that were screen recordings, kwenye in Insta, uh, kwenye TikTok live rather ya Cheryl Gabriela akisema kwamba walipokutana na Pose the energy was quite different Pose was like is song trend juu yangu not because of you and i'm like this is not the kind of energy that we need right now to be honest there is a role when it comes to content creators pushing music especially with the emergence of TikTok na the role it plays na pia kuna role ya msani. so to see undermine role ya mtu yoyote cuz me i felt that Cheryl kudogo alisikia vibaya but of course song ilitoka yenye inaitwa Cheryl so to Tunawaelewa hiyo script tumeijua siku nyingi na si tutaendelea kucheza song kani hit. Moving forward, I saw <laughs> that our government has set aside wametenga 100 million when it comes to a national dress. And I, I found it quite ironic to be honest because tunaseti 100 m ya national dress na kuna madaktari wame strike. Kuna nani lecturers who are on strike pia as well. Uh, like you know what you nini? Uh, si ati kama tunaitaji food on the table. Si ati kama tokens ni that expensive. Si ati kama tunaitaji vitu zingine. Tukia na national dress. Tafunike hizo vitu zote. Moving forward, I've seen that there was a court ruling that employers or bosses cannot dictate office relationships among employees or their juniors. So in short, muna is a date. Like, oh, oh, office boyfriend, oh, office girlfriend, mwenye umekuwa napenda sana. Muna is according to the rule of law. And, uh, yeah, injili yenezwe kabisa. Eh, lakini yapa itakuwa ngori, kazi tafanyika kweli. That is what the court said. But as we proceed, Nimona Kwamba, the drama between Cardi B and Offset, Imekua inaendelea. Yani, I would say when it comes to drama, Imekua too quite a lot. And if you've been following for the last six years, Offset Imekua na so many cheating allegations. And then finally, allegedly, Cardi B cheated back and Offset is losing it. Like, bro, Akiliake na lose control. Cardi B went live on Instagram. Alikuwa naongelea their situation because it was just a few weeks back when Cardi B actually said that, um, enyewe mimi na Offset ni kama tunenda divorce. Like, I'm, I'm done with this guy. This is the second time she's actually divorcing Offset after cheating allegations. And then now, finally, <laughs> Cardi B akaenda kwenye Instagram live. Akaanza kuongea, katuambia mambo mengi kuhusiana mausiano yao. And Offset actually commented on the Instagram live. I can allege that Cardi B actually cheated. Akiwa ako expectant. And that didn't sit well with Cardi B. Waka pele kana waka minyana pale online. Everyone had something to say. Offset akambia Cardi B kwanza, wewe ndo umekuna ni dai. Kila mtu anajowu na ndai na misku dai. Cardi B ni nani? Akatua screenshots. Akaonesha. Ikukweli. Yo S yenye iko kwa jina ya Offset is S for Simpson. Because... <laughs> Mans has been simping proper. Kiyomba kadibini and block to oh to Rudiane. Oh eh. We also know that the last time he cheated, he he literally went on stage to ask for forgiveness. So offset, if the girl has cheated back, where to move on? I would love to see Kadibi actually moving on with another man so that I, I silence umse once and for all. Like in Mamboya Watua William Bao, Wamila like it's under more you see why queen kililia. Last but not least, it seems like my work here is done. On 10 over 10, 
I'm officially going to Dubai to pursue my dream career of becoming a Dubai housewife. In case you're wondering where that is coming from, there's a Dubai millionaire, Mwenya Menunua, private island, private island for his wife. Ndwa kwe comfortable kuva bikini. Mini kwa hapa, niko too comfortable. Niko too comfortable, guys. Uh, by the way, asante ni sana. Mi ni meacha na naikazi. Nime na kutafuta nyota yangu ni kaiko huko. Nime kwa na waimbi hapa mniyowe. Meanwhile, there's a Dubai millionaire somewhere. Muna jua neza taka comfortability in so many things. And an island is one of them. So that's where we wrap it up on Ukudas. Thank you. Yeah. Nime, nime maliza. Uliko na kujak tuingine. Tume maliza. Kuna kitu ingine sele bueno medu. Hashtag 10 over 10. But of course, I have yet another artist who is ready to step on stage. And I want you to make some crazy noise for Felix. Hey, your clamor. Black market records. Yeah, yeah, yeah.